So I'm just doing a quick video here and I wanted to do it um, with me in front of this because I recently got this painting and I have it up on my wall here because it is just the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. So we're going to take the camera up to it. Look at that. It's Jesus knocking on the door and it's got the beautiful coral colored flowers and I just, I don't know what it is about that painting. But it brings me so much peace. Let's move this around. Okay, so today I want to talk about, I'm feeling very zen today and very calm and at peace. And I don't know about you, but peace is something that I need in my life on a daily basis. I want to wake up and before my feet hit the ground, I want to thank God, first of all, for all my blessings because all I got to do is look around with my eyes that I'm so blessed to have and just really see all the blessings that I have. And I was really pondering and being thankful this morning on one particular blessing. And I know that this might sound odd to some people, or kind of out there, or random rather, but I was just thanking God and thanking God in my bed this morning actually that I have all four limbs. Do you know that there's so many people that have lost a limb or multiple limbs and how devastating that would be but I am you know I, I get to walk around every day I have my arms my hands all my fingers and toes my legs and my feet you know I'm mobile I'm so blessed and we've got to go back down to the brass tacks whenever we're talking about our blessings because you know really it's those this it's the gold lining so we can go around in our daily life and you know complain about stuff and think about all the little things but they don't really matter what really matters is having a healthy physical body and I keep that with raw foods and um, detoxification but another thing that keeps me healthy and centered is unconditional love so this is a concept that I was first introduced to by Dan McDonald and he was talking about unconditional love and how that's what he wanted in his life and I had never really heard that before um, and I had never really looked into that but now I realize at the age of 24 well actually I realized it a couple years ago but I'm really like dead set on it now I want to live a life of unconditional love and that's not just pertaining to romantic things um, this is about unconditional love for everyone and everything and I think that a big part that goes into unconditional love is gratitude I don't want to go a day in my life without being thankful for the things that I've been given and I'm talking about like I was talking about before the basic things like, you know, my house, my food, my clothing, my job, my life, my eyes, my hearing, my limbs, you know, everything. All of those things we should never take for granted. So I think that gratitude plays a really big role into unconditional love. And this is something that anyone can do. This is not just me. It's not just because I'm a raw vegan who um, loves peacefulness and I've, you know, I'm at, I'm at a really good place in my life. It's not just that. Anyone can do unconditional love no matter where you are at in your life. Anyone can ask God and Jesus to open up a door for you and lead you down a path of unconditional love. Anyone can do this. It is not just, you know, the perfect people and because I'm certainly not perfect. I just, I don't want to live a life with any negativity. And of course, there's always going to be um, the duality in life, the good and bad. But I want to really focus on the positive. And I want to wake up each day with positivity. Because come on, man, what, what else are we going to do in this life? But, you know, try to get on that even keel of of, of counting your blessings and, and giving love to everyone, strangers, family members, co-workers. Let's give a little love today, you know what I mean? <laughs> but the thing is, and this is a really big thing, I think, is that whenever you have decided that you're going to be nice to everyone, no matter how horrible they are to you or anything like that, 
or you know whether you go into a store and you're gonna be nice to the grocery store clerk you have to realize and this is a biggie this is a big year, are you listening? Not everyone at this point in time is going to be willing to accept the love that you're giving, okay? The, your positive vibes, even that, even when you're not saying anything, just your vibes. Some people are not at a place in their life yet where they are willing to profess unconditional love. They're just not. They're going to be closed off to it. Um, some people, this might come in the form of people being... Um, cranky or rude or mean to people, um, people that are impatient, I think that that goes along with it too. Patience is a huge, huge life lesson. Oh my gosh. So we can't take offense to this. We have to just smile and give our love anyway and just kind of walk away knowing that not everyone is at a place where they are willing to even be kind, you know, even the most fundamental positive things in this life. Not everyone is, is ready at this time to do that. And that's okay because everyone's on their own journey. But for me personally, I'm ready for unconditional love and I've been ready for quite a while. And I want to give love to everyone, strangers, people in need. Um, I just want to be a kind, happy person. I want to leave the room knowing that I left smiles and sunshine. And I know that that kind of sounds airy fairy, like, you know, all the I'm up with flying with all the butterflies and fairies, but it's not really like that unless you want to think of it like that. I would love to live a life where I'm just up on cloud nine every day. Why not believe that that's your reality? I don't know. So I just wanted to do this video on unconditional love and tell you that I am professing it and I really encourage you to do the same because, because why not? Why not live a life of happiness and um, appreciation and rather than the opposite of that. So that's my video. Click like if you love this painting and um, subscribe, check out my website, all those beautiful things and I'll see you later. Bye.